It's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about the uses of logic gates within the circuit wizard. Or we can simulate all the gates within the circuit wizard and if you want to make some combinational logic circuit then how we can do it. So first we will go for our file and then new. Here you can see that there are two options. So we have to go for electronics project. Elementary circuit is somewhat like basic so we will click on electronics project and then click OK. Now we got our uh, library for all sort of components. So we will search for our logic gates here. So these are our logic gates. Our first logic gate is AND gate. Okay, now we also need to take the inputs. This is our input for first input and this is our second input for the logic gate. And what about it output? This is our output. Okay, so connect output with the output of AND gate and inputs with the inputs of the AND gate means that these are actually the logic states and this one which is at the output it is called as the logic probe. Okay now when we will run it we can see that our output is with green color and it is actually representing zero state is equal to low. Low or zero logic. Okay when we will make our at zero zero it is zero. At zero one we can say it is Still it is 0, at 1 0 it is 0, but at 1 1 it is 1. We know that AND gate always when AND gate is having 1 1 on its input it always gives 1 and on all the other combination it will give 0. So this is our AND gate, now we will move for our OR gate. So this is our OR gate, we will go for input and output. So this is our input and uh, this is the second input and we will go for one output here yeah, like this. So connect logic probe like it and this and this one. Now again simulate it. So 0 0 it, it is giving 0 at 0 1 it gives 1 at 1 0 it gives 1 at 1 1 it gives 1 it means that when it is 0 0 it will give 0 on this combination and on every other combination it will give us 1 usually and get is considered as the uh, multiplication and or get is for the uh, addition uh, concept but it's not right if logics are concerned but still we can uh, resemble uh, these things with this concept so now we will go for our inverter or not get again we will take our input and output so this is like this okay now Inverter is actually called as the NOT gate. It will always uh, use to invert the output or input. So like uh, whenever we will give 1, it will give us 0. And when we will give it 0, it will give us 1. So it used to complement the input or inverting the input. So NOT gate is also called as the inverter. Now next is our NAND gate. NAND gate is actually the NAND gate with the NOT gate on the output. So how it used to perform? Whenever we used to connect it like that, so we need to take two inputs and we will connect it like that. So like this and like this. So now what will happen? In AND, when AND is 1, 1, it will give us 1. But when NAND is 1 and 1, it will give us 0. 
NAND when NAND gate is 1 and 1 it will give us 0 and on all other combination it will sorry okay on 0 0 0 and 0 it will give us 1 at 0 1 it will give us 1 at uh, 1 0 it will give us 1 but just on 1 1 it will give us 0 so it is the opposite of AND gate simply opposite of the AND gate now what about XOR gate and XNOR gate so these are two gates there is a very simple uh, logic behind them that when two inputs of the XOR gate either it is the XOR gate okay where where sorry so it is the NOR gate okay it's not the XOR gate it is the NOR gate and it is the X it is X uh, it is NOR gate and it is X NOR gate okay so NOR gate is nothing but the inverter attached to the output of OR gate means that when our output is 0 0 it will give us 1 and when it is 0 and 1 it will give us 0 when it will 0 and 1 or 1 0 and 1 or 1 and 0 it will give us 0 and when it is 1 and 1 still it will give us 0 so it is the output of OR cat now what about XNOR we will take our inputs like this and like this so this one and this one so this is our output okay now when when we have 0 and 0 it is giving us 1 the XNOR when it is 0 and 1 it gives us 0 when it is 1 and 0 it gives us 0 and when it is 1 and 1 again it gives us 1 so it is the opposite of X or gate so we can say simply we can say that that when uh, yeah so when it is 1 and 1 and 0 and 0 it will give us 1 okay now what about X or gate uh, X or simply X or gate so this is our XOR gate, the last gate. So we can see that we can see that when when it is input, so when it is zero and zero, it will give us uh, zero when it is 1 and 1 means that when both the inputs are same then it will give us 0 and when any of them is different like 1 and 0 uh, it will give us 0 it's if it is uh, 0 and 1 again it will give us 1 when they are same it will give us 0 when when it is 0 0 or 1 1 we will get 0 otherwise 1 So that's all about the logic gates. If you have any sort of uh, misconception or any difficulty, then you can ask me in comment section and I will help you out in no time. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel.